All right. Now we've got the OMA 300 on his uh, 95. We're gonna get some footage of, a, you know, not a new operator, but a new operator to a shear. He's never ran a shear before. Um, and this is the guy that's normally in this machine. So he knows the machine really good. We'll so see how he does just picking up doing uh, tree work with the OMUF and our, uh, I say our firm trees skid loader mount. take your material to your pile you don't have to take you know your equipment to your pile you can take your, your material to your equipment see and now he can shear over the machine and it doesn't fall on the machine that's where it's nice you're not you're not trying to pinch it and when you pinch it on most shears it's going to drop it on your machine well now you can get irregular stuff you can get that thinned out and get it down to the thicker stuff if you want to which is i like to do well they have a tree company and they have a grapple truck it needs to be a certain length so now he can trim it down to whatever material size he can fit in his truck and he doesn't have to go in and hand process it he can literally drive his truck in here now and he can grab his material right out of the pile. And it's got really good holding strength. Those two limbs there were going through all that material and it pulled it right out. It, it doesn't have an issue with it at all. material here to clear. Got a bunch of multi-clump stuff up next to a fence line. See, it just holds everything and you can just drag everything right back out with it. A lot better than a pinch style shear, you know, where it's got the one blade. Some of them have two blades. If you've ever tried to pinch into a log and carry it, it likes to slip out, fall down, 
it ain't happening with this and then this shear is actually made to fit on an 8 to 18 ton uh, excavator and then fern tree makes the mount for them so it's made for something that can put a lot more force in that skid loader ever will years and years of use Stem it looks like a bunch of clump, three, four trees there all at once. Each tool definitely has the advantage. You know, this way you can get the material out just as quick, but then you have to do something with the material. But he has a tree company, he's already got a uh, grapple truck. grabbing big material but look how fast he's processing it because you can keep a hold of it that's the key to me that, that's what I would that's what I would say the uh, the determining factor me going over a shear like this over anything else shear I call a pincher it's got the single blade you can't do that the tree would be on the other side of the fence If you don't have an OMA or something to where you can keep a hold of that, tree's going to be on the other side. See, he's coming over the fence, taking that tree out, and you can't do that with another shear. It takes the material with it. You can shear above the machine, whatever, and you're not going to damage your machine. It's going to keep a hold of it. 